Well, he's been a significant force on the gridiron, having been part of two national championship football teams with the University of Georgia, and now headed his way to the NFL with the Philadelphia Eagles. But now he wants to take some of that notoriety and translate that into promoting women's health. His name is Keely Ringo, and he joins today along with his mom, Tralee Hale, along with Dr. DeCarla Albright to talk about this very important subject. Keely, first of all, congratulations on what you've been able to achieve over the past couple of seasons. But talk about now what you're trying to do off the field in promoting women's health. I want to continue to be an advocate for women's health. Of course, continue to support my mom, as well as those that have um, had, had people like um, in my mother's situation, as, as well as the families that have suffered that. Um, I, I want to continue to spread awareness um, for those that need to continue to um, have early detections and um, spread awareness for that. Now, Keely, your mom, early in your college career was diagnosed with breast cancer. What was that like? What, what, the, what was that like for your family to go through that, through that time of your life? I felt like it was one of the tougher times um, for our family overall, as well as in my life. That's exactly why I want to continue to be a voice for that and use my platform to continue to voice how, how serious it is um, for early detections and be able to support those that um, definitely go, um, are that, that are going through that for sure. Truly, let me bring you mm -hmm. into the conversation here. You had a very you know, significant battle with breast cancer, very successful, and, and then that you're cancer-free now. But talk about the true importance of getting screened for women who maybe are just not really taking this all that seriously. Sure. The Ringo Family Foundation thrives to eradicate triple negative breast cancer, the number one most aggressive form of breast cancer that also disproportionately affects women of color. I didn't know that. I thought that 40 years old is when I should start getting checked. And while that is true, um, there are mediating circumstances that can, that can um, change you know, that, that 40 year old number. Um, family history is one of them. Um, Dr. Albright was going to um, elaborate on that further. I, um, I stand corrected. I had a palpable mass that was located at 10 o'clock in my left breast. I completely ignored it and had justified in my own head that it was a clogged duct or a cyst, but whatever it was, and I'm sure there are plenty that can relate, whatever it was, it wasn't cancer, not me. And I was almost willing to bet my life on it. But now, thankfully, you're cancer-free and you've gone through successful treatment. Thank you. Now that cancer is behind me, I'm using my voice to advocate. I want to bring awareness to this horrible disease. I want to prevent as many people from having going through what I've experienced as possible. Um, again, a lot of people can relate to, you don't know what you don't know. And I didn't know and, and was in denial prior to receiving my, my diagnosis. Dr. Albright, yeah. let me bring you into the conversation here. You know, with the pandemic shutdown, we saw a significant drop in women getting screened, and a lot of those numbers haven't returned. Tell us just how crucial it is for women to get out there and get a mammogram. It is crucial. It is necessary. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, we missed a fair number of breast cancers and colon cancers. And breast cancer is one of the leading reasons for women to die in this country. So if someone has missed the opportunity to screen as a result of the pandemic, please go see your doctor. Please get that script for a mammogram and get yourself up to date now. Um, and then, you know, for women, the guidelines are, are recommending to start at 40. I recommend annually at 40. Um, but talk to your doctor and come to an agreement about what's best for you. But start screening at 40 and uh, don't miss that opportunity to either reassure yourself or detect a cancer early so that you can save your own life. And Dr. Albright, there's been real advances in screening where detection now becomes even more detailed than it has been in past years. Absolutely. So 3D mammography is the best screening technology to detect breast, breast cancer, regardless of age, regardless of breast density. It's the best screening technology out there. So if, if I were um, looking to get myself screened, that is the type of technology that I would uh, request. And so women should go talk to their doctor and, and ask for that, for that screening technology. 
Also be aware of their family history. Most women who actually have breast cancer don't have a family history, so that's important to know. Um, and if they have a mass or changes on their breasts or anything that's concerning, see your doctor right away. If, if nothing else, um, Charlie's story is, is indicative of that, to, to be proactive and pay attention to your body so you can you know, be in best health to take care of others for your family. And how can women find more information? Where can they go for help on information on this? For more information, you can visit Genius3DNearMe.com. All right. Well, thank you three for joining us. Keely, we wish you all the best on your NFL career. We're going to be looking at the Sunday mornings now with greater intensity because of what you're going to do on the gridiron, but also off of the gridiron as well. So thank you three for joining us today. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. Stay with us. California Life will continue right after this.